everybody in there. Oh, oh. He is right above my bed. It's me, Dream. Oh, he's biting my arm there. He's walking around just fine. Wow. Now that I have both of them, I can make them kiss. She's already walking a lot better. Than Look at all that sweet milk. There is something moving around in that pouch. Just like this every day, Homelander wakes me up. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. And even though my son is dead from natural causes, everyone was asking in the comments in the last video, he did die from, I think, either old age or either some of the other complications that he had. The little guy recovered from cancer like six months ago. He also lost his teeth and then grew them back. He was a pretty old prairie dog. But right now we are cleaning up all the leaves in this little Homelander area here. And this goofball wakes me up every morning by pecking on the glass. But as you guys can see, I went ahead and put some gravel down here for the axolotls and I moved them inside. Would you like this? Oh, there he goes. Wow. And I just leave these worms in my fridge. The other one lives in this little cave. Eventually he comes up and grabs it like a little snake. It looks a lot better with that gravel and there's no way they can choke on that. Right now we're trying to get Homelander into that little area here so these guys can clean up the leaves. He sure does love eating all these leafy greens. And I don't really mind him eating all this stuff because somebody's got to eat it. But every morning this precious little boy wakes me up and by tapping on my window. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and push him in here. At least while we're cleaning up all the leaves in this area, we have a little bit of water and some other stuff in here for him. But I do miss having little Bibbiton in here running around. Today, another victory for the OG. Flightless bird in a flight pen for today. But look at this, you guys. Kumala's doing a little bit better now, but he's still really skittish. Because one of the contractors moved Kumala back in with the other Cappies without asking, and he got horribly attacked. And when she told me about it, I checked the ring camera and saw this, and I immediately left the gym. He still got those bad scars on his cheeks. But he now has this entire place and that shipping container to sleep in with tons of hay. And because I'm weaning these baby goats over here, he also gets to spend time with them. And also, for some reason, since I separated Markiplier, she hangs out way up there. I don't even know how she can fit in there. That's where she sleeps nowadays, I suppose. And I'm keeping them separated, A, so I can milk her. <laughs> Look at all that sweet milk that's been building up in there. But B, because these guys need to be weaned and they can't be with their mama for forever. Okay, that's a lot better than it used to be, at least. I'll go ahead and let this little fella out of here. Come on out, big bird. This beautiful girl has done a number on all the grass that was in here. Thankfully, there's still quite a ton for her to eat. I don't think she'll ever really work through all of this. See, that's the kind of thing we don't want them to be chewing on, you guys. But look at this beautiful pecan tree. But I finally have a UV filter for this pond now. And we finally cleaned all the leaves out of this area. Even though not all of the leaves have fallen yet, it's nice to see green grass again. Soldier Boy started to get this weird red coloration on his neck, but it's starting to go away now. I don't know whether that's a little rash or if it's from this fencing. A new Nugget and Garbanzo Beans are my two happy little friends here. This pond is already dry again. We haven't been getting a ton of rain lately. And look at that big red tail hawk up there, you guys. There he goes. He's not going to mess with me. And thankfully, even though they check out this area, they don't really mess with garbanzo beans or any of my other chickens. We went ahead and cleaned all the brush and leaves out of this little area too. And Big Ounce's funeral tree is doing pretty well. From now on, I will be referring to this tree as Big Ounce because it's basically absorbed all of his nutrients. And it's even using it to create new little ounces. But in all seriousness, you guys, I was pretty sad about Big Ounce passing away for the first two or three days that I didn't even post any videos. But because we'd kind of been memeing his death for so long, I was a little bit mentally prepared for it. By the way, Kevin and Karen are very happy back here and they don't mess with the kangaroos, which is pretty funny. Even though Kevin will mess with me now and attack me, the kangaroos don't really mess with him and he doesn't mess with them. Him and DaBaby have always kind of had a little bit of an understanding. Oh, he's biting my arm there. Also, you guys, take a look at this. My one friend who has Rhea told me that he got an egg this week and it's pretty late in the year to be getting an egg so i'm gonna look around here and see if karen laid one that could also explain why kevin is so aggressive again but he doesn't mess with the baby and his wife and that's all that really matters to me but look at this beautiful beautiful little man and look at his little children coming over to see what's going on but yeah guys everything's fine over here at the urban rescue ranch but not to mention you guys death is something that i'm pretty used to here at the ranch at this point and you guys don't really know this but i don't really film every animal that i have to euthanize for the wildlife rehab especially this time of year the 
majority of the animals that come in are really horribly, horribly injured. And when there's no good way for me to treat them, the loving thing to do is to just euthanize them. But I know you guys aren't tuning in every week or so just to watch Uncle Ben put down doves and turtles and other things that get hit by cars or run into windows. Also, I turned the greenhouse into a lovely little area for DeBaby and his wife to hang out in. So on really cold days, it'll be nice and warm in here because the sun still gets in here. Even just standing in here on a cloudy day, it's at least five to six degrees warmer. And this is also where I keep all of my beekeeping things and my hive is right here. And it's still doing pretty well, as you guys can see. Should probably check on it again and then put an excluder for the winter. I still haven't harvested any honey because I really want that to be a lot of it next year. And now this hawk is flying right over me and screaming at me. And because I leave this gate open at all times, all of these animals together can come in here and get out of the rain. And there's tons of room in here for them to bed down. Eventually I will put a bunch of hay in here. And I might even put a bunch of pallets and plywood down for a floor so it doesn't get all wet and soggy when the rain comes through the bottom. And when I do have to euthanize things, you guys, I keep them in a freezer so that I can feed them to other animals we rehabilitate like this. Unless of course they have some horrible disease, which this animal did not. This is another fox that we got that is about ready to go back to the wild, but still has a little bit of a limp. Look at this precious little fox. And this cottontail rabbit died from a cat attack. Uh -huh. So death is a really common and important part of wildlife rehab. But when it happens to a little fella that we love, like Big Ounce, it still always hurts a little bit. I've actually had her in here for about a week and a half and she's already walking a lot better than she was. And her limp used to be horrible, but now she has this entire area here to run around and play and regain her strength. And I could probably release her next week. And I do miss having Big Ounce in my little corner here to do Bible studies with. But I know he's in a better place now. But check this out, you guys. I have two different pairs of Mater and Lightning McQueen Crocs. And now that I have both of them, I can make them kiss. This is the UV filter for the pond that I have to hook up today. Thank you, Paul Cafaro, for telling me about this. This should make it crystal clear in there. Gee, Mater, I sure am glad to be back in Radiator Springs. I want you. We're going to be building a carport and a little garage style thing here. That can be some extra space for rehabilitating animals, but also for just keeping a vehicle out of the rain. The cold front is now gone, so it's officially nice and rainy and warm here again. Kumala is still taking some time to get used to me and warm up to me again. Look, guys, it's me and my adorable son, Patrick, is doing much, much better now. I moved him from this little section into this section with some new fresh hay. There's a lot less flies in here now. He was getting pretty torn up by the flies a little bit ago. But now because of this, I don't have to change the waters often. He's walking around just fine with that little cast, but I have to keep him in here for at least another two months. But I'll come in here and I'll sit with him for about 30 minutes a day just to play with him because I know he misses the social interactions. And our volunteers at the Baylor Animal Rescue Club will be coming over to spend time with him too because it's finals week and they need breaks. So if you guys go to Baylor, you can reach out to us and I'll make you sit with Patrick for an hour and a half. I don't want to track mud everywhere, so I'm actually going to take these off. But we cleaned the whole floor in here, so now everything is nice and clean. There's no more dust. And I keep just this little crack open so the dogs can get in and out. But it doesn't get too cold in here when the temperature does go down. Also, I think the chickens are coming in here and stealing all of their food. But tonight, for the first time, I'm actually going to take the pog and queen out. And I'm going to let them try and have free range of the property again. Look at Patwick. Baby Gronk is thriving in here. The water is nice and warm because I have two big heaters in here. He's also got this nice little heat lamp and all of this sand to bask in. But I do miss Gustavo, you guys. So we're going to be getting him back and putting him in here because this is going to be a much bigger place for Gustavo because he's smaller. He's not a very aggressive or reactive crocodilian oh at all except for that for the most part this little boy does not try and attack me or mess with me at all all right little fella i'll let you go during the day the sun really warms up this whole tub because it's black goodbye patwick i love you and thank you guys for praying for patrick because i think he is healing up very well we're gonna get another x-ray on him pretty soon tomorrow i'm gonna be ordering about 20 to 50 cages so we can have a nursery in here and i'm sorry to tell you guys this but i released the majority of the squirrels already in random places around waco i think there's about four left in here that made an adorable nest out of the cedar. Anybody in there? Oh, oh, oh my. Whoa, pretty close call. Is Uncle Ben okay? I'm, if you don't like this video, I'm going to do horrible things to your family. And they still live in here. So I'm going to be doing a soft release for all of these adorable little fellas. Basically, none of them are friendly, but they're not going to try and bite me, I don't think. But a soft release just means that I'm going to go ahead and leave these doors open. And having a few extra squirrels on this property is going to be just fine. We have a ton of pecan trees and we live next to a pecan farm, basically. But for a soft release, this is all I need to do. I'm just going to leave these doors here propped open. And these precious little babies will eventually work their way back into the wild. The cappy 
trees don't poop in their water at all anymore. They just poop next to it, which is nice. And these guys are all doing okay in here. The only issue is that they also poop in here. So I need to clean that out regularly with this shovel. I wish they had the sense to just go outside to poop, but they don't. I also brought them inside the other night. Come on out, everybody. Come on. Okay, guys, come on, come on out. And when it gets down to really cold, freezing, raining temperatures, I'm just going to put a doggy door here and let them go inside whenever they want. And this house is also completely cleaned out now. I've already started to amass some racks and cages in here. And Master Ugwe and Sensei Ledoux will be going to Sean's place today. This is the quarantine enclosure for when we get new wildlife in. And when it's nice and warm here, and it will be in the winter, I can let the tortoises come out here and graze. But man, oh man, there's nothing like being out here after a fresh rain and yes new remington did survive thanksgiving you guys let's see if he survives christmas <laughs> i'm gonna be having another one of these buildings put right here for this pad this way if we need to separate more animals in here we can't but for now all of these animals do a great job of coexisting and living with each other in relative peace and harmony and i think i do have a little bit of a surprise for you guys in here matter of fact i do after waiting a long long time you guys take a look there is something moving around in that pouch and look how her and garbanzo beans are good friends but thank you guys for letting me take a little bit of a break the last couple weeks i definitely needed it it was nice to take a little staycation and focus on all the animals that are here and it looks like christmas came early for the urban rescue ranch this year you guys take a look at that it looks like this little man is going to be a father also whoa guys what's that hey everyone it's me dream and I'm going to be fighting the baby December 25th, 2023. So stay tuned to the Urban Rescue Ranch. It's me, Dream. I'm going to be fighting the baby December 25th, 2023. I'm going to be back here in Waco. Uh, I fully endorse and support the Urban Rescue Ranch and the baby. Whoa, wow, Dream. Think, wow, that's, a, guys, that's crazy. I can't believe Dream was here at the Urban Rescue Ranch in Waco, Texas. That's so much better than Jake Paul, you guys. Wouldn't you agree in the comments? All right, guys, well, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah! Also, look, guys, Homelander's still knocking on this window.